Hi, I'm Krish Kandaya, and yes, that is Krish as in Krishna, but no, I'm not related to Harry Krishna. And while we're putting things straight, no, my dad has never run a corner shop. And no, I don't eat curry for breakfast. And no, I don't use cumin and chili powder instead of using deodorant. It drives me mad when people assume things about me. I resent that surprised expression on people's faces when I walk into a room looking foreign and then speak in English. And equally, it annoys me that people think just because I'm over 40, I'm gonna prefer golf to tempin bowling or red wine to Coca-Cola. Just because I'm from Brighton doesn't mean I can't support Liverpool Football Club. Just because I'm a Christian does not mean I brainwash my children. Just because I teach theology doesn't mean I don't like a good party. Just because I've got six children doesn't mean I haven't got space for one more. And just because I own a van does not mean I drive inconsiderately. The point is, just because you know something about me does not mean you know everything about me. Being judged, labelled, stereotyped has a paradoxical effect. Those that think they know me don't know me at all. I'm even more of a stranger to them than they realise. So what if we've treated God in the same way? What if it is precisely because we think we know God that we don't know him at all? What if we've assumed he's close by when really he's very far away? What if we've assumed he's very far away when actually he's very close? The Bible is full of people who made mistakes along the same lines. Many of them even failed to recognise God when he turned up. And yet whenever God did turn up, unannounced, uninvited, unrecognised, something truly revolutionary was about to kick off. What if God is deliberately strange? What if it is in trying to understand the uncontainable God that our minds are brought into life? What if our minds are like a teacup and the knowledge of God is like the unending, unfathomable volume of water roaring over Niagara Falls? What if it is in welcoming this unexpected God that our lives take on a whole new meaning? What if it is a good thing that God is stranger?